have returned. The Enterprise has returned. It's time for another beer review. This one. It's from Australia. I don't think I've done one from Australia, have I? Uh, have I done Coopers? I may have done Coopers. I might have done Coopers... Uh, IPA or something? Hmm. Maybe I have. Anyway. First brewed in 2000. Uh, 5.2% and it is, some of you may be familiar with this already, Little Creatures Pale Ale. You can find it, I bought this in Waitrose. Uh, that's, that's, you can find it in various Waitrose across the country in the UK. Um, so let's talk about the design. There's a little cherub there with wings and he's holding a, a beer glass. Um, and it says, Little Creatures Brewing was born out of a love of a great beer shared by a few good mates. Throughout the years, I'm not actually not, I, I can't do the Australian accent, it's not South African. We've created a little family of beers that we brew today with the same enthusiasm and drive as the day we began. Consume thoughtfully with friends. Well, um, I'm on my own, sorry. Uh, Whole hop cones, unpasteurised splendour and live bottle conditioning gives pale ale its distinctive bitterness and floral character. So it's bottle conditioned. Okay, that's exciting. Good to know. Um, tasting notes from the book. Take the time to draw deeply uh, from the hop driven aromas of passion fruit, oranges, grapefruit and lychee. Citrus and honey flavours should be balanced by a mild sweetness and a dry finish that lingers just long enough to complement uh, your bucatini. Al Amatriciana. I have no idea what that means. If you know what it means, let me know. Uh, good thing to know, this uses Australian malts, but American hops, and it's called Little Creatures. This is this is quite fun. Uh, the, the brewery came up with, a, with the name after reading about the little creatures wandering from alehouse to alehouse in The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. So there we go. It's named after um, the, the Hobbit. This is brilliant. So, right. Let's have that, shall we? Okay, a little bit of detailing on the bottle cap there. There's a little cherub on the top, that's quite fun. Okay. Okay, leave the bit of yeast in the bottom there. It's only a 330ml bottle. So, right, so a little bit of a head there, it's kind of uh, honey coloured, orange coloured, um, quite clear, a little bit of murk to it. Let's see what the aroma's like. Oh, huge aroma, huge. But hops, real fruit, real tropical smell to that. Really tropical. That'd be the American hops there. Really, um, yeah, the, the hop, he says passion fruit, orange is great for in lychee. It does. That is a really good explanation. Um, Really very nice. Well, let's go for a taste. Cheers. Oh, that's very pleasant. Um, it doesn't taste as sweet as it smells, but that's good. It's really smooth. Quite creamy, actually, in terms of its taste. But also quite fresh. Um, um, mm. They're real strong, you know, citrus and honey kind of flavours, as I said in the in the tasting notes. It's really tasty. Um, really, really fruity. Um, this is, I'd say, a good spring beer. It's got lovely, lovely, um, um, real tropical taste to it, as well as the sort of tropical um, uh, aroma. Uh, but very clean. Um, the taste lingers on the mouth a little bit, but you get that kind of nice kind of honey on the taste. They're pretty pleasant, actually. Um, really uh, dangerously quaffable, I would say. I'm glad I've only got... Uh, well, actually, I'd love a big bottle of this. Um, what I'd really like, though, this would be... I don't know if it would be good on cast, because actually the fizziness adds the flavour with this one. I'd give it a go on cast, but this is, I think, works better in uh, to be more carbonated. Um, so really nice and bottle probably would be good on keg. Uh, 
Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I would say it passes my litmus test. It is better than Green King IPA and Doom Bar in terms of its taste. It's far more interesting. Um, uh, and I definitely have it again. Um, obviously, I can get hold of this pretty easy at Weight Trace for as long as they stock it. Um, yeah. Thumbs up to Little Creatures Pale Ale um, from Little Creatures Brewery. It's also called the name, name of the brewery. Um, from Australia. Where's it from in Australia? Fremantle and Geelong. It might be pronounced differently in that, but um, I don't know where that is in Australia, actually. I do not know very well by... Uh, I don't really know much about Australian geography. Oh, this is interesting. It's important to the UK by Aspel Cider. That's offbeat. No, I don't know quite sure what a cider company is doing importing beer, but there we go. Oh, I just noticed this, actually. This is quite fun. On the bottle is little cherubs as well, actually, embossed onto the glass. That's quite fun. Um, as well. Good. Right. I'm going to leave it there. Um, do like, comment and subscribe. Tell me if you've had this beer before. Tell me what you think of it. And I'll see you for another beer review soon. Goodbye.